Good morning, everyone. This is Curtis Hawks over here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services, and uh, very excited about the presentation today. We've got a, a really good topic, uh, and I think there's going to be some really good uh, tangible items that we're going to cover that you can immediately go, go out and incorporate into your practice. Uh, before getting into the main presentation, I did want to take a couple of minutes here and talk about some of the additional ways that IMS is here to add value to your practice. Uh, first off, we've got our new producer builders. As you can see there, I've got a number of point totals. And when you first start working with us in your first six months, you automatically get enrolled into our new producer builder program. As you're producing, you can cash out uh, at any of those tier levels. And you can see we have a range of items, whether it's uh, trips or marketing reimbursement or marketing programs or even just straight cash. Uh, if you've got questions on that, would like to know more about how that works, just reach out and talk to a, a sales director over here. That number is 800-255-5055. In addition to that, we've got our referred producer program. If you know of an agent who maybe isn't quite happy with their current IMO relationship or maybe you feel like they might be a great fit for us, send them our way. Not only will you get a $50 bonus when that agent first gets contracted, but then on an ongoing basis, you'll receive overrides on their business. You don't have to do anything. We'll take care of all of the service and support. And so it's a great way to generate an additional flow of income coming back to you. In addition to that, we have our marketing reimbursement program. You can see there that for every 100,000 of qualifying indexed annuity premium, you can accrue $100 and then $200 for every 100,000 of single premium life or $200 for every 10,000 of life target. And that can be applied to uh, our creative services, to marketing and prospecting programs, you name it. If, you, if you've got questions on that or would like to see what your balance is, reach out, talk to a sales director over here. Again, that number is 800-255-5055. Uh, I've got to touch on uh, back office support. That's been a cornerstone of IMS for the last 38 years. And whether it's on pre-sale and case design to the submission to commission process, I think the team over here executes at a very high level. And so if you haven't if you haven't tested that out, I would strongly encourage you to do so. Uh, the IMS portal uh, is, is a very robust platform that you have access to if you're contracted with us. So if you're wanting to get access to that, reach out, talk to a sales director. Again, that number is 800-255-5055, and they can help you with getting access to it. But we've got a wealth of resources on there whether it's annuity quoting, life quoting, uh, product rates, details, et cetera, all of that's on the site. Uh, our EAP platforms are on there. We also have our sales resource library, which is literally hundreds of point of sale pieces that you can instantly download uh, and utilize in your appointment process. And to take that a step further, uh, you can see here that we integrate with all of the, the top EAP platforms for your annuity life or Medicare or long-term care needs. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about uh, what platforms support what, uh, here's an example. We've got flyers that we've built out on that. So uh, again, if you'd like to get one of those, just reach out, uh, talk to a sales director over here, or you can scan the QR code as well. We also have an in-house creative team here. And, you know, I, I think that's one of the the, the topics that I probably get the most questions about because I think that's one of the biggest challenges for agents is where is my next appointment going to come from? And so the team does a very, uh, very good job when it comes to helping build out your brand and helping you to generate that consistent flow of prospects. Uh, all the work that we do is custom. In fact, we're right here kind of at the midpoint of the year. And one of the things that we offer is a complimentary marketing analysis where we'll put together a customized marketing plan for you. Uh, now is a great time uh, to take a step back and look at where you're at in the halfway point of the year and are you on pace or not on pace for your goals for the year. And if you're not, uh, then let's take a look at that and figure out how do we get things back on track. And uh, if you are, then I think the question is, okay, that's awesome. How do we make sure the second half of the year we have that same momentum that we had the first half? So a great opportunity, and again, it's completely complimentary. Uh, in addition to that, we do have an RIA that we've built out, IMS Wealth Management. And I'll go ahead and launch the, the first of three polls that we're doing today. 
but we really see that um, and have seen that there's been significant growth in this marketplace. I think more and more agents are looking at uh, incorporating AUM into their practice. And so we really designed this with that in mind and working with the agent who AUM is a piece of what they do in addition to annuities and, and life insurance as well. And so if you've got questions on that platform, if you'd like to have Duncan or uh, somebody from the team there talk with you a little bit about uh, the resources they have available, just check yes. And I'll have somebody reach out to you on that. So I'll get that closed down here. Um, next up is our Life and Annuity Academies. Uh, we just wrapped up registration for our July Academy, and these really are amazing events. Uh, these are events where you can come out and hear about the top trends in the annuity world, the top trends in the life insurance world. What are the most current trends when it comes to marketing and prospecting? And so I'll go ahead and launch our second poll here. Uh, but these are all in person. We bring you out uh, and you get two and a half days of time to spend working on your business. And so it's, a, it's, it's really a great opportunity. And again, not only will we talk about and show you ideas that can really make a positive impact from a long-term standpoint in your business, you'll also have ideas that you can walk away with and immediately integrate into your business. We also bring out top producers uh, to present as well. And so uh, we do have uh, our next academy is going to be the latter part of September. So we're, we're going to be opening up registration for that, I believe, the end of this week. And so these are first come, uh, first serve to a certain extent, and they do fill up relatively quickly. So definitely, if you have interest in that, check yes, and then I'll have a sales director reach out to you. Uh, lastly, let me get to my next slide here. Uh, lastly, make sure to like and follow us on uh, Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, we syndicate a lot of content out uh, to the field, and one of the quickest ways to see what's going on over here at IMS is on social media. So with that, I'm going to uh, get this switched over here. So I've got with me today Don Quante, and uh, Don is one of the most knowledgeable individuals I've met when it comes to uh, leveraging asset-based products for purposes of long-term care. The two biggest expenses people have when it comes to uh, retirement are health care and taxes. And an LTC event can decimate a retirement nest egg. And so he's, uh, he's not just a presenter, he's a lifetime member of Top of the Table, so he's out there and has been successful at a very high level for a number of years uh, positioning these. And so we're very pleased to have him on the, the call today to give us some insight into how can you have success and generate volume with this. So Don, appreciate you taking some time with us today. Oh yeah, hey Curtis, thank you. And, and boy, I'll tell you what, if uh, advisors weren't fired up before that, uh, IMS has a whole bunch of great stuff, huh? I mean, that was, that was awesome. And uh, Curtis, I want to just kind of jump on to one thing you said, you know, at the end of the day, the biggest thing that I found advisors, friends of mine, and it doesn't matter if it was 41 years ago when I was across the kitchen table wrestling with somebody over $10 a month check matic for life insurance, right? Or with your, with your guys, when you're with guys that are multi-million dollar producers at MDRT's top of the table meetings. The same is true today as it was 41 years ago when I started. And that is if you don't have somebody to see belly to belly, face to face, none of the rest of the stuff matters. So I love, 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 Curtis, the fact that you guys have got it nailed. And, and if there's advisors on this call that aren't signed up with you yet, uh, they ought to be. And, and hopefully I'll put a little fuel on uh, that fire at least a small amount as it pertains to long-term care. Um, so uh, what we're going to do today is uh, talk a little bit about uh, the current environment. Um, and I'm going to couch it with uh, sort of what happened with COVID and how that's changed the way people see things. We're going to talk about uh, low-cost, no-cost lead generation things that might be worth looking at. Uh, sort of the process that we have and, and uh, the partnership that we have with, with IMS. We, we are here to support uh, uh, you and, and IMS as, uh, uh, as it pertains to 
anything long-term care related. And I'm so happy to be able to, uh, to, to visit with you all today. So um, by 2050, think about this, 86 million people will be 65 in this country, okay? Now that's interesting, um, but, but that means that the number of 85 year olds uh, is actually gonna triple to over 19 million. I mean, that's even more, more alarming, right? I mean, so if you're not talking to people about this issue of long-term care, somebody else uh, will be. And uh, so um, people feel differently ever since COVID. And I don't know about you all, but when you watch the five o'clock news or the six o'clock news, depending where you live at in the country, this sort of image was heartbreaking, right? It looks like a, a, a married couple, maybe they've been married 50, 60 years, and by gosh, they can't even embrace skin to skin because uh, COVID had locked people down. So this has changed the way people feel about things. As a matter of fact, in a recent study, when people were asked, if you got sick and needed care, where would you want it? 88% of them said they would want to receive that care at home. Now, the interesting part about it is you hear a lot of these statistics, and there's people on LinkedIn arguing about, is it really 50% of the people need care or is it 70? Well, let me tell you what it really is. 48% of the people that are turning 65 today will need some type of care, but it could be six weeks, six months, six years. The majority of the people, though, 70% who turn 65 will need uh, 65 who would develop a ser serious or severe long-term care need in their life. And that's the, the statistic that you hear so much about. So it is, as Curtis mentioned, on people's uh, mind. Um, a as a matter of fact, the cost of this stuff has gone through the roof. In 2021, we were seeing people paying a little over a hundred grand a year. They expect by 2030 it'll be 141 and for people who make it to 2050 you're going to be spending a quarter of a million dollars it doesn't matter how much money you have this is not for poor people it's it's not for wealthy people it's pretty much for everybody because what we're trying to do is to transfer the risk from themselves to an insurance company right but the problems that we have and, and i'm going to give you some ideas today on how to get past them there's a lot of confusion about how to fund long-term care. So here's a here's an interesting uh, study that was done by Boston College. And what they found was there's a lot of confusion out there. What I want you to focus in on is out of pocket. Notice it says 19%, 19%, right? So, this, so people age 65, that, that uh, I identified that as the primary way to pay for long-term care, they only thought 19% of it would come out of pocket and that Medicare, as we all know, wouldn't, you know, they thought Medicare would pay 45% of the time. Well, guess what? The out-of-pocket actually is considerably greater. It's twice as much as what they thought. And Medicare, as we all know, is for short-term care, not or long-term care. So this out-of-pocket uh, number is really surprising. To make it even worse, LIMRA did a study and they found that 29% of the people said, yeah, we got some kind of uh, insurance. We, we got that covered. And then what they actually found is that only 3% really had coverage. So think about that. That means 97% of everybody you come in for during open enrollment, if it's an annuity review, life insurance, RIA work, whatever, there's a way to ask three questions. And I'm going to give you some MDRT top of the table uh, uh, insight as to some simple questions here in just a minute that you can use. Now, here's the biggest challenge that we're going to find out there, that the baby boomers, and I'm, by the way, I'm one of them. I mentioned I started 41 years ago. I just had my uh, 61st birthday, getting, uh, well, we'll be turning 62 here before long. And uh, so, you know, I still think I'm real healthy, but the doctor might, you know, might object that I'm not as healthy as I thought I was. So the CDC just did a... Um, a study more most recently and they said of the people who are caring for somebody else now get this 
they're already caring for somebody else, likely their spouse or their parents. 60% of them have been already diagnosed with one chronic medical condition like arthritis, diabetes, obesity, osteoporosis, probably one of the biggest ones. We all heard the story. Grandma was doing great till she slipped, fell, and what? Broke her hip. And then we've all heard it's downhill from there, right? So here's the challenge. You're going to go out there and talk to people. That, and, you're, and the people who are going to be most interested aren't going to be insurable by most of the products that you have. We're going to change that today. Curtis said, Don, do something special. Let's share something exciting with them. We're going to talk about guaranteed issue long-term care today. I think everybody probably, I've got your attention by now. Guaranteed issue long-term care is pretty cool. So this market opportunity that we're talking about is huge. So think about life insurance policies that are in force. How many times have you been in somebody's home or they've come to your office and it turns out that they say, hey, can you take a look at this? And they've got a $100,000 policy, maybe with MetLife, John Hancock, Prudential, whoever, doesn't matter. And you look at it and the death benefit's 100 grand, but there's 96,000 of cash value. And you're thinking, boy, they don't have insurance or they don't have leverage anymore, right? So why not begin to think about repurposing an existing asset that they already have? By gosh, there's plenty of them out there, right? 267 million. And the cash that's inside of those contracts and fixed interest annuities is just a little bit south of $5 trillion. The opportunity is huge. To even make it better, the government, back in 2010, so this goes back 14 years, so the government already knew we were going to have this big problem, right? There's going to be this big age, you know, this uh, this big tsunami of boomers uh, beginning to turn 65 at 12,000 a day. That's what's happening right now. It used to be 10,000, it's 12,000 a day for this year and next year and the following, and then it begins to go down a bit. But what they did, the government said, if you take a, an existing annuity and you use IRS 1035, that's the exchange rule, that you could either partially or completely exchange a non-qualified annuity or a life insurance policy that got, that's got cash value. You could transfer it into an annuity that conforms with the Pension Protection Act, which, by the way, you can get those annuities through IMS. I'm going to tell you who in just a bit. And then when the client is ready to access the funds, they get to take it all out 100% tax free plus leverage. And we have a guaranteed issue version of that. So I'm pretty stoked today. Now, uh, the opportunities, like I said, are, are, are huge. I'm going to give you some case studies because, again, as a producer, and I, and I hope some of you learn this way, you learn by seeing cases, you learn by hearing people talk about it and telling stories. Um, but this is an, a, a, an example of a creative way to take an existing annuity and do a 1035 exchange. Now, this particular th company only has three health questions on their application and a simple phone interview, okay? We're, uh, this one, they are gonna do a cognitive screen and a phone interview. Um, but you're going to see why this makes sense. This guy is 69 years old. He's got diabetes, but he's been turned down by uh, a couple of other traditional long-term care insurance companies. He's got quite a bit of money. And you ask him the first question of three that's very important. You said, look, Bob, if you got sick, where do you want to receive care? And he said at home. You said, you know, here in Omaha or here where I'm at in St. Louis, that could be 10 grand a month. It's a lot more expensive, by the way, for home care than people would believe. Uh, so, you know, Bob, that's going to cost you a lot. What asset, question number two, what asset would do you think you'd liquidate first if you got sick? Well, that darn annuity, I wish I had never bought it. Okay. How many times do you hear guys, clients say that? You say, third and final question, if I could show you a better way, to use that annuity to cover this risk of long-term care, is that something we should take a look at? You see, everybody wants to make this a whole heck of a lot harder than it has to be. There's just three questions. I'm gonna go through them again if you didn't write them down. But watch what happens in Bob's case. See, he's got an original annuity, right? He put 200 in. Could have been fixed, variable, doesn't matter. It's worth 400 grand now. Well, that fixed interest annuity 
um, he says, I'm going to start withdrawing that to pay for my care if I get sick. And you, you say to him, now, Bob, you realize that the government has something to say about that. Uh, whoops, and under, under the rules of LIFO, last in, first out, if you withdraw money from your existing annuity as it sits now, non-qualified, you're going to pay income tax on the first 200 that comes in because that's the last in, first out. You pay taxes on it. So, Bob, rather than do that, why don't we take advantage of a little-known law called the Pension Protection Act, and we'll do a tax-free exchange into an account that in less than 36 hours, if you're approved, because this company, by the way, I'm going to show you a guaranteed issue in just a minute, but this company, you do have to do some basic, uh, uh, there's some basic health underwriting. Nothing too serious, though. We're going to take 400000 and in 36 hours, he's going to have $1,600,000 tax-free pool of long-term care. And here's the cool part about it. It's going to give him sixteen grand a month benefits for the next eight years. He can use it for home care, assisted living, and skilled care. And, and the all big question always is, well, what if I don't use it? You don't lose it, right? Here's the beautiful part. All we're doing is repurposing an asset that's got tax troubles and creating a much better situation for him. Now, along the way, these types of cases move the dial. I know, um, uh, as I was talking to Curtis, you guys, uh, there's a lot of, uh, of you all that are on this call that probably, uh, you know, do some life insurance annuities. Of course, Medicare, we're all in the middle of that, uh, 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 you know, uh, AHIP training right now. But no better place to find them than with Medicare clients because they've got annuities. You just got to ask them. Uh, so this particular company uh, is One America. And I won't bore you too much with the illustration because there's plenty of time uh, for training with your uh, great sales directors that, to go through the illustrations. But the fact of the matter is it's that simple. All right. I'm moving kind of fast because we got a lot to cover today. Um, and uh, I, I know uh, Curtis has had some polling questions, but, you know, by gosh, uh, I'm going to tell you if, if if I piqued your interest, you know, today, call your a sales director and tell them you want in on, uh, you know, on this uh, future training and and the lead generation we're going to talk about here in just a minute. So we're going to talk a little bit about options for uninsurable because remember what I said, the majority of the people are going to say things like, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm really good since I had my bypass surgery or yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good. I only do two shots of insulin a day. Those are the people that we would always find, right? So we were so excited when finally an insurance company figured out that, you know what? In 30 minutes using technology, uh, and this is maybe one of the positive things that came out of uh, COVID if there is such a silver lining, and that is that we all now can embrace technology and even people in their 70s and 80s are all right doing a Zoom meeting when it's pr uh, proposed properly. So we've got a way where you're with the client in their home or they're at your office, a 30 minute video underwriting interview and a decision in 30 minutes, okay? Here's the beautiful part. There's three uh, classes to this. Preferred, if you the client were to get preferred, and by the way, it's not preferred like you think, like they gotta walk on water. Remember, these are these are people that have impaired risk. So if, if I'll give you an example, this would be uh, a, a case we just had where the lady was 325 pounds, just to put things in perspective, all right? She was 73 uh, years old, 325 pounds, and she got, uh, uh, the preferred, which is a factor of three. So you put in 200,000 non-qualified annuity cash, uh, cash value from a life insurance, and she's got 600,000. Now, two to one looks like this. Somebody has early stage Parkinson's, uh, or my son, who is a financial advisor, just did somebody who has an ampu had, had to have their right leg taken off because of diabetes. That was a two to one ratio. So the 200 turns into 400, 100% tax free for care. And if you've got uh, like a case that we were looking at this morning, it's a case where the poor lady's already uh, in assisted living with dementia. Guess what? You can still cover that person. There's not enough time as as Curtis, you know, uh, you know, and I uh, we're talking earlier to go through that. But by gosh, if you want more uh, more training on it, the sales directors can sure 
sure help you. Even when somebody has dementia, you can get a 35% increase. Now, you know, you say, well, Don, that sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Well, first off, it's cash indemnity, which means cash on the barrel. They can spend it for whatever they want. They could hire friends, family. Here's the, here's the reason why this is able to happen and the insurance company won't go out of business is because there is some vesting that happens over uh, the first five year uh, period. So the 600,000 isn't all available on day one. However, there are some creative strategies that you can use tying this with uh, using the use of an IRA that makes it really worthwhile. So I just wanted to make sure that I whet your appetite. You've got guaranteed issues. There's no reason to not be talking to everybody about this. All right, so we're gonna shift gears and talk a little bit about qualified because if as big as the non-qualified opportunity is, the qualified, look at that, 17 trillion. If, if, if I had a dollar for every time I heard somebody, when I ask what asset are you gonna liquidate them, say my 401k, I'd be a really, really rich guy um, because that's the money that baby boomers oftentimes use. So I'm gonna give you an example of how we would see that and the way your sales directors at IMS are gonna help you um, because here's the reality of it. Uh, oh, by the way, um, and, and I apologize, Curtis, if I'm uh, digressing a bit, but uh, about 15 years ago, I had one of the major insurance companies in my office here in St. Louis. They said, Don, we've never heard of your little firm in St. Louis, but you are killing everybody. I mean, you're writing more business as a small uh, you know, producing shop than some of the big distributors we have what's the secret? And it was real simple. I said, we only work with families who have already experienced the pain. We only work with families who have already experienced the pain. And, and what I mean by that is if somebody hasn't gone through an experience with a loved one, the chance of them buying long-term care insurance or protecting assets is like slim to none. This lady here, Patty, is frightened by the idea of going into a nursing home. Why? Because she watched her mom die after spending six six years in a nursing home. These people want to leave an inheritance to their kids. And oh, by the way, they're not a fan of traditional long-term care because their buddy just got a 67% rate increase. So please don't make the mistake of calling this, you know, say, well, I'm going to, I want to talk to you about long-term care. I want to talk to you about a creative solution to deal with the issue of long-term care that doesn't include you buying regular long-term care insurance. Something like that works really well. All right, these people had a lot of money, right? For, for me anyway, in St. Louis, this was a great case. 1.7 million in IRA, not a lot in checking, stocks, bonds. They said they would have to use their IRA if they got uh, sick. So what did we do? We said, well, look, what we could do is let's just do a IRS uh, trustee to trustee transfer. Let's take 200,000 from your current custodian, which was Wells Fargo, and we'll transfer it over to the new custodian. And when we do that, the new IRA custodian will add a 25% bonus. So you'll have 250,000 in the IRA income account value, and then, in a packaged manner at the insurance company level, they'll move 25,000 over and what you'll get is unlimited long-term care. And we're gonna do that one time each year for the next 10 years. Now you might say, well, Don, that's great. Um, what do they actually get? The guy in this case, Tim gets 7,400 a month. So that's almost 90,000 a year, right? Tax-free from his IRA, the fact that we did this, Puts him in a position where he's got 90000 a year forever, 7400 a month. But if his wife gets sick, she's got an additional 90000 Can you imagine the two of them, if they were both sick at the same time and needed home care, they've got hundred and eighty grand a year tax-free coming in. And what, and what did we have to do to do that? We had to just peel off a little piece of their IRA and move it to a new IRA. I mean, it's I'm oversimplifying for a reason because we make this way more complicated than it has to be for the client. Home care, assisted living, nursing home, it's all covered by this. Now you say, well, what, Don, what if they don't use it? They don't lose it because there's a minimum tax-free death benefit of 247,000. 
This is not a life insurance play. We're using a life insurance chassis, the second to die contract, so that we can get the leverage of 77, uh, 7702B. All right, so, so basically what we've got is uh, an asset care contract just illustrated properly. And one of the things that your sales directors can do is position this for you in a way where it, it just comes alive and it's gonna make sense to your client. All right, a couple of things um, we're gonna do. Uh, they mentioned, um, uh, Curtis did all, all everything, the lead generation. Um, one of the things that we're, we're involved in, and uh, I know the sales directors do, is actually do product identification for you. So at the end of the day, you don't want uh, to go out and show your clients something that they can't get, right? So um, we've got this, uh, this process. One of the things from a lead generation standpoint is I talked about low cost leads and long-term care surveys. Actually, I didn't, but I'm going to now. Uh, so one of the things that uh, we figured out during the pandemic, and uh, if you're working with IMS already, you got access to this. If you're not yet, you get contracted with IMS, and you can have access to what I'm going to show you. So here's what happened: you send a uh, email, or better than that, a piece of direct mail. We'll show you exactly how to send it out, exactly what to do. This email or letter uh, is so simple that it gets your phone to ring. Basically what will happen is you will get people who will schedule first appointments with you on the topic of long-term care because of the way we ask the questions. I'm gonna just kind of flip through quickly. This is the email version of it that IMS can set up and, and it doesn't cost you anything other than your contracts, right? You gotta be doing business with IMS. If you're not already, you know, Curtis and his sales directors will tell you what what that requirement is. Um, but basically this is uh, kind of asking the existing clientele that, you're, that you have and your warm lead list. This is not for cold leads. So if you've got a book of business like my friend Terry in Western Missouri, uh, he sent out uh, 250 to his Medicare Advantage and uh, Medicare Supplement clients. Uh, he got back 80 six responses of which a third of them uh, are moving forward to uh, first and or second appointments. So this thing works really good. Here's the reason why we love it now that we have guaranteed issue. First question on the survey says, do you have a spouse, parent, or loved one who's currently receiving care? You see, everybody wants to avoid the sick people because they don't think there's an opportunity, but it's actually where the opportunity's at. Sam Walton said, the great famous guy who created Walmart said, um, always go against the herd. If everybody Sears, Kmart's building in the big cities, guess what he did? He built in the rural communities, right? We gotta be different. We gotta be out there in the blue ocean. So this thing works because what happens is you get people who are in the throes right now of dealing with an issue with an aging parent, you can do guarantee issue on them and then they buy the uh, regular asset-based long-term care. We ask them if they got sick, where would they want care? What asset would they liquidate? We're heck, we're doing a, a mini fact find before they ever come to your office or you go to their home. Would you like to receive free information? This is the white papers that IMS is gonna give you to send out to the client. They're already done. They're compliance approved, ready to go, right? And so you're basically gonna be able to provide the client with, with real value, and then if you're sending it by email, they're gonna put their name in here and then presto, what's gonna happen in real time is you're gonna get a quote, excuse me, a, uh, a lead like that. Uh, my friend, Scott Mazinko in New, uh, Newark, New Jersey, he sent out over 800 of these. And again, he's in the Medicare business. This may not apply to some of you on the call, but he's in the Medicare space. And he said, Don, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. He has 286 responses. Now, what he did is he sent them by snail mail because he didn't have emails on most of his clients. How he didn't have emails, I don't know, but it worked nonetheless. And we'll give you either process. Um, I, I mentioned earlier, uh, Terry. Uh, so Terry sent out uh, 250 of them. He got 82. Uh, Scott, I, I'll correct myself. He has 269 responses 
on an 800 piece mailer. Think about that for just a second. I mean, that's, it almost doesn't believe, it almost doesn't sound right, right? And then uh, my friend, Corey uh, Rick in uh, uh, LJ, uh, George outside of Atlanta, he sent it to, his was a life insurance book of business. It doesn't matter if the if you sold the people insurance or an annuity or assets under management, they think of you in some manner like that, the survey works like that. This is at the top of people's minds. It's, it's a hang up that we as advisors have that we don't bring it up. And then you're saying, all right, well, Don, what am I gonna say? This is, and, and I love the fact that Curtis, you know, Curtis pointed out, hey, I'm a producer, right? Just like you guys are. So what I did is I wrote the scripts that way. So you don't have to rethink it, man. You just go, hey, plug and play. If the guy answered question number two, this is what I say when I call. Uh, and there's a bunch more, but we, we shortened it just so you, you, you can see this. All right, next thing, book marketing. Um, I wrote a book uh, 20 years ago called Don't Go Broke in a Nursing Home. It became an Amazon bestseller. Uh, I co-authored with some attorneys across the country over time, but it was time after the pandemic to rewrite the book because the way that people feel and think about long-term care has changed. And people love to get anything that's tax-free, right? So think about it, tax-free benefits for long-term care in a post-COVID world. What we're prepared to do because, and, and this is only if you're with IMS, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put your picture and your bio and all of your contact information on the back of the book. And that's gonna be done uh, uh, for free. Now, normally that has a price of $397, but uh, because you're going to, you're either with IMS or you're going to be with them, we'll do all of that uh, for you guys to help you get going. This book can be used in a lot of ways, but I don't want to, uh, uh, you know, take too much more time. That's the sort of thing that you want to talk to your sales director about. That's the normal price. There's your price. And again, this is one of those deals where, you know, uh, obviously, uh, you know, IMS and, and we, we want you to do business with IMS, so that's why we're doing that. Um, let me just kind of uh, flow, flow, flow through this. I mentioned that there were three questions, and this is all in the training material that you guys can have access to if you're doing business with IMS. If you got sick and needed care, where would you want it? What asset would you liquidate first? And the third one is the power phrase, if I could show you a better way. So they say, well, I'll probably use my annuity. If I could show you a better way, Mr. Smith, to use that annuity or some of it to pay for care, is that something we should take a look at? Nobody can say no to that. It's non-threatening, right? And these are people who you already know. I mean, it's just a no-brainer. Um, we have an actual fact finder, and this tool is called The Risk is Real. Now, this would not have our name or our IMS on it. This would have your uh, these things are customized to uh, to you and to your firm name. So uh, what we have is a process where those questions are asked. You're going to fill in a fact finding tool that looks like that. You're going to get it to your IMS rep. They're going to go through do the due diligence and put you in a position where what you're going to have is the true product. Let me get to that page. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, companies, big, strong, safe companies like those, right? Those are the kinds of companies that you want to show your client. And then a side-by-side -side comparison of the top asset-based carriers because everybody's doing due diligence out there now, right? They want to see who's the best. And then we're going to show you how during that second appointment to simply get a copy of the person's driver's license, and it's called the driver's license close. Submit an e-app. It's real easy uh, to do. And um that brings us Curtis to you and I hope I did that in time my friend uh I've got my best version of the call to action but I think you had uh, a few uh, parting words that you wanted to say well yeah and and, and great presentation Don I, I appreciate you taking uh the time with us today I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll launch our uh, final poll of the day which is if, if you'd like to have one of the sales directors uh, get some additional information out to you on what Don talked about. Just go ahead and check yes. But I, I think um, I think you did a, a really good job of articulating the need. There's a huge need out there, and I mean, you go back. You know, I remember go, you go back 15, 20 years ago. I mean, the idea of asset-based long-term care. I mean, you had kind of one one show, the Money Guard, 
with right. Lincoln. And then outside of that, it was all traditional LTC. And so, you know, I, I think part of what's gone on over the last 15, 20 years is I think carriers have listened to the, the, the field force, the advisors out there on what if the rates go up? You know, what if I change my mind and I want to get my money back? And, and really, I think what we're seeing in the marketplace now is a, a very robust portfolio of products that can address just about any situation that you might come across. I mean, what, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, no, no doubt about it. And um, one of the things that happened uh, two weeks ago, I know you mentioned uh, about your RIA, which, which is exciting. Uh, we had an agent call in uh, from one of our partner firms we're working with, and he said, you're not going to believe this. He said, uh, I did that survey and I called uh, my client and, and the, it was his mother-in-law who was needing care. So we figured out who the stakeholders were. It was his brother-in-law and a sister who happened to be an aeronautical engineer at Boeing with 1.5 million. They're pissed off at Wells Fargo because they said, oh no, your mom just got to spend down. And that one little thing, that one little survey is, is get, getting that guy a, a nice AUM case. Of course, there will be insurance and annuities down the road. But the, the fact is that, yeah, that the, the customer is demanding this. And if we don't bring it, Curtis, you know, as advisors, like all the guys and gals on this call, then who will, right? Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's exactly right. So, uh, well, I... Uh, Again, I, I appreciate, Don, you, you taking some time with us today, some really good insights on, on not just what the solution is, but how to market and prospect around this. Uh, for, for all of those uh, of you that are attending the call, appreciate you taking some time out of your day, and we will be uh, following up with everybody to make sure we get additional information out, and hope you have a good rest of the day. Thanks.